Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to remove or lessen the bags under someone's eyes. This video is part of a series I'm doing where I'm demonstrating how to remove things using Photoshop. In the description below this video, I'll have a link to the playlist so you could watch all the videos in this series. Now I mentioned, we're going to remove or at least reduce the bags under this person's eyes. And I'm going to demonstrate how to do it two different ways. The first way is the fastest way, but it doesn't always work well with everyone. The second way takes a little more work, but it works best with everyone. Now, to start off with, what I want to do is duplicate the background layer. So we're going to do all our work on its own layer. So on my Mac, I'm gonna hit Command J. If you have a PC, you'd hit Control J. Also in the description below the video, I'll have a list of all the keyboard shortcuts I mentioned in this video. Now for this first way, what we want to use is the patch tool. The keyboard shortcut for the patch tool is the J key, but that keyboard shortcut is shared by a number of tools. If we look over at the tool well, you see I hit the J key, but it chose the spot healing brush tool. If I click and hold on that little uh, patch tool there or healing brush tool, you'll see that all the different tools that share that J keyboard shortcut. And I mentioned we want to use the patch tool. So we got the patch tool. And by the way, on my Photoshop workspace, all those tools are shared in this little cuppy or stored in this little cubby. Your Photoshop may be a little different and they may be all individualized on the tool well. All right, so I have the pa patch tool. Now, as far as the tool attributes, we want to use normal. So do not use content aware. And we want a diffusion of seven. That is the maximum diffusion. So we want that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to draw a selection with the patch tool around the bag under their eye. And you're just gonna wanna go like under their eyelashes. So we're gonna start over here in the corner and we'll just kinda go under their eyelashes, maybe even cut off a little of their eyelashes and then get all the darker area like that and then complete the selection. Then what we'll do is we're going to drag this down onto her cheek, just like that, and let go. And then we'll hit Command D on my Mac to deselect, Control D on a PC, and you can see that we lessened the bag under her eye. Now we'll go over on this side and we'll do the same thing. We'll come over here and we'll come around this way like that, and then pull that down onto her cheek and let go and hit Command D and you could see. Now, if it's too much an effect, or maybe like right here, we have a, still a little bit of a line there, we could just do another little line with the patch tool there, hit Command D to look at it. And then we could do over here as well. So you just keep doing it. Command D. Now, if that's too much, it's like too smooth, what you do is just come over here and turn the opacity down for this layer. And you'll see I'll just be pulling opacity down and we could kind of blend it so it looks more natural, but still is effective. There's before and there's after. So that's the first way. Now, as I mentioned, it's the fastest way, but it doesn't work well with everyone. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, need to delete this layer. Just hit the delete key and we're gonna start over and I'm gonna show you the second way. Now I'm going to duplicate the background layer again. I'm gonna hit Command J on my Mac, Control J on a PC. Now instead of the patch tool, what we're gonna use is the clone stamp tool. The keyboard shortcut for the clone stamp tool is the S key. And you'll notice in the little tool cubby with the clone stamp tool, there are two different tools there, the pattern stamp tool and the clone stamp tool, and they both share that keyboard shortcut. So make sure you're using the clone stamp tool. Now, as far as the tool attributes at the top, what we're going to do is we're going to use the blend mode lighten. And then what we'll do is we're gonna turn flow down a lot, like flow down to like 10%. All right, now, we have our tool, what we could do is resize it with the bracket keys. The right bracket key makes it larger, left bracket key smaller. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna sample on her cheek where it's a little lighter. So we'll hold the Alt or Option key in to get a sample right here. And then what we'll do is we'll come here and we'll just paint on the darker area of her 
of her uh, bag under her eye. And this is only at 10%, so we're building up the effect. Every time I brush, the lighter it gets. Then we could go to the other side, and that's the same thing. I'll hold the Alt or Option key in and click below the area where it's dark. And then we'll come in here, and we'll do the same thing. We'll just brighten it up. And you could see how this would take a little longer than the patch tool. Come in here and try to smooth it out a little bit like that. So there's a before and an after. Now, I kind of messed up over here because I wasn't really cognizant of the shadow area there, but it's not bad. And again, with that layer, you could go to the opacity slider here and you could turn the opacity down so it blends a little more naturally uh, for you. So even if we bring opacity down to like 47% and do before or after, you could see it's a considerable improvement or difference. So those are the two ways that you would remove or reduce bags under someone's eyes using Photoshop. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>